Oh shit, y'all y'all already know what this is. Go ahead and bust this baby open. Oh shit. Y'all see that? I know y'all see that. The motherfucking desert proxy. Let's fucking go. And the box is a little fucked up. But that's alright. <laughs> we got a uh, a ball cap for the proxy too, so pretty cool. Um, I think that means that we can put a turp bar on here, so we'll have to test all that out, but let's check it out. All right, what is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Um, cool video today. Something I've been waiting on for a little bit, not even like a week or two. Um, we have the Puffco Proxy and now this is the uh, desert edition. So it's like a like a beige, like tan kind of color. Um, I don't, it, it looks fire. It looks, I think it looks fucking cool as fuck. So yeah, man, been, been hearing enough about this. And, um, I mean, I even talked about it in the last video. I was thinking about getting one of these because I've been, been just smoking a lot of rosin, man. A lot of rosin, a lot of hash rosin, just a lot of concentrates and shit in general. So, so yeah, man, we had to get the proxy. We had to get the proxy. Even somebody even left a, a comment on my last, my last video telling me to get the proxy. So we got the proxy. So let's go ahead. Um, let's not really waste any time, man. Let's just get right into this. Break the shit open. You just kind of like pull it off like that. So fire. So this is the new Puffco proxy case. And I mean, off the bat, the case, uh, I, I'm liking the case. Like I like the case more than um, than the, uh, the Puffco Peak, like the Pro. I like it better than the Puffco Peak Pro case. So it has a zipper attachment that goes around instead of like magnets or anything. You'll flip it open here and we actually, this is kind of cool. We have quite a few different like compartments. Um, there's our little salt thing. Don't eat these if you, uh, if you get those in any packaging. Don't eat them, just, just in case you didn't already know that. And as you guys can kind of see, I mean, bro, the colors on this thing, like that tan, that shit is fucking fire, bro. So we got a lot of shit in here. Let's see, what do we got here? Chamber storage. Okay, so down here in the uh, bottom right here, this is going to be chamber storage. So if you have another um, fucking 3D chamber, you can throw that down in there. But I think I'm going to use that to store some hash. I think I'm going to put a little, little hash or some rosin down in there. I think that's going to be my little rosin storing spot. And then right here, let me just try to get it so you guys can see this. There's a little flap. Let's pick that up. And that's where your charger is going to be, as well as I think there's like a little manual or some shit back in here. No, just like a little stash pocket. So honestly, yeah, that's even more fire. Honestly, yeah, because you, you can put you can put your your rosin and shit. You can, pro, you can, this is a fire little case. And you can hold your charger in there too, so fire. And then up top, honestly, we got a lot of shit going on. So they give you a little tool. I just like reach for it, couldn't find it. They give you a little puff go tool. So that's pretty cool, you know what I mean? Um, honestly, probably never gonna use this thing for its intended purpose because we have the hot knife. You know what I'm saying? And then they also give you um, Q-tips, which is fire, you know what I mean? And these are like, oh, these are cool ones. Like one end is like a, um, if that'll focus, it's like, I don't know. It's just like a little wooden like scraper or scooper almost. So that's pretty cool. And then what do we got in the uh, inside the pocket? There's like a little, oh, I think this is the actual manual then here. Yeah, so you take that out and now that's the uh, Puffco manual. So let's go ahead. Um, let's bust out. Let's take this little, this little proxy girl out. Oh, and I didn't mention um, too, um, the charging is, uh, it's USB-C. So, you know, they got it right again, you know? <laughs> so let's go ahead. Let's take the proxy right out of its case here. And this is honestly, this is pretty cool. This is very unique. Um, and one thing about the proxy that like, I mean, it's very like, like you can like, you know, like it fits in your hand. It's kind of crazy. But like for me, it's strange because I've never hit like, like dry dabs. Like that just, it's kind of foreign to me, you know what I mean? So definitely gonna be a new, a new experience for sure. Taking some dry dabs. Cause like even the dry dabs on the peak, like I've heard that that's not even like close to what the uh, proxy gives you. And then we also do have this uh, spinner cap that it came with or ball cap, I should say, that you like, you, know, you can like toggle around, which is pretty neat. And we do have like a little label here on the side it says like um inhale gently do not submerge proxy base in liquid see manual for usage and cleaning instructions so fire remove before using so we're gonna peel this little sticker off here so how does this work it just literally 
Wow, that's actually kind of crazy. This is like, you can you guys can hear that, right? Like that's pretty good quality glass. All right, so then within the um, the proxy itself is just this little this little chamber. So it comes with a 3D chamber. Um, the new chambers that you have to buy like uh, for separately for the peak pros and then does it like screw off or like oh okay okay that makes sense so this part right here you can just screw that right off and then that's the entire atomizer so this is what you can um pretty sure this is the part that like is soakable <laughs> like yeah yeah you can soak this to clean it you know what i mean so that's pretty neat and then i think to put it back in i think you just like let's see yeah, you just push it back down, twist it, and then you're good to go. And then for the tops, super easy, like, removal and shit. Just pop it right off like that. And to put them back on, kind of just fit it around. Okay, fire. <laughs> it took a little, like, finagling with to get that back on, but we got it back on. And then the uh, button is right here on the side. So I don't even know how you turn it on. Okay, so to turn or unlock the device, you hold down this side button right here. You guys can see that, that little divot right there. Three seconds. And then, oh, that's fire. The little ring at the light at the top. And then I think it has different light settings. So single click to, uh, okay, yeah, to cycle through uh, light settings. So blue is low, green is medium, red is high, and white is peak, which is gonna be their like highest. So let's see, I'm guessing that's white. That's blue, which will be the lowest. Then we have green red and peak um i think we're gonna start on like blue we're gonna start on the lowest temp because i don't think it has like it's not like the peak pro where you have the app where you can like set a exact temperature which i would say that's probably like the only like negative thing really about the proxy that's about all really we really need to know to like get started and then i think to to turn it on i didn't even i skip right past that part i'm pretty sure it's a double tap just like the peak let me find it in here. Blah, 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 blah. Double click to initiate heat up. Press and hold button anytime to stop. Pulsing light indicates device is heating up. Device will vibrate and lights will flash three times when ready. Inhale gently for best results. All right, fire. So it's just like the Peak Pro. Um, it'll vibrate again whenever it's ready. So let's fucking, let's go ahead. Now that's something I do have to figure out. Damn, so I really don't know. I would assume that this, this, this hole right here is what you line up with like this, even though it's not like a direct fit. It's like as close as like you're gonna get really to it, you know what I mean? So I don't really think it matters too much because the smoke's gonna fill up this entire area and then it comes out here. You know what I mean? So pretty cool nonetheless. Um, let's go ahead. Uh, I think our hot knife's around here somewhere. Yeah, got our hot knife right here. We're gonna go, I think we're gonna smoke some rosin to start, just some live rosin, you know what I mean? So let me go grab our 710 skis and let's fucking dive. All right, so to start, we are going to be dabbing on some 710. This is some Percy Rosin. Um, this being the GAC Smoothie um, number five, which is a mixture of GAC and Four Locos. That's a cross on this. And uh, this this is fresh out of the fridge. So this rosin is gonna be like like some ice, damn it, if that makes sense. Like ice on a lake or some shit. I don't know if you guys can really see that. I'll try to give you guys some good lighting. Like it's, bro, just now, it's some pressure. Like it is, it is, it is some gas. It definitely is some fire. Now, being that this shit is uh, fresh out of the uh, fridge, um, the only really way to get like a good scoop of this is to heat up the hot knife first and then scoop. So we're just gonna hold it for like one, two seconds, get it a little bit warm on the end. And then we're gonna go in for our scoop here. And I even gotta heat it up just a little bit more, honestly. Yeah, there we go now this is gonna this is like an experiment too so i don't really know um exactly like how how much to load in here so i'm just gonna get like a decent little amount nothing too too crazy you know uh, that's that's a healthy amount i wouldn't say that's like insane you know so let's drop this right in the prox you are probably gonna hear me call it the prox i like to like abbreviate shit you know what i mean so yeah we got our fucking prox let's pop the top and then we're gonna melt our little fucking dab ski right in here. Just drops right in, land it right on the middle. So, well, it's gonna be our first dab on the uh, new Puffco proxy. So let's go ahead, we give it a little double tap. So a little, give 
happens to vibrate so when it's like ringing like that or not ringing but when it, the light is flashing like that the ring is flashing <laughs> that just means that it's heating up so we'll just wait a second there goes our vibrate so looks like we're all good to hit so cheers everybody Wow, that shit, like, y'all see my eyes right now? That shit kind of hit. It's weird, bro. I've never, I've never tasted a dab as much as I just tasted that one. Like, it, I don't want to say it was harsh by any means, because, like, it wasn't necessarily harsh. But it was weird. <laughs> like, just having no water. Just, like, taking, like, a bull rip of dab is just weird. I'm going to heat it back up. I think we got a little bit left in here. Let's see. Oh, we got a puddle. So let's heat that back up. It's going for round two. Bro, the taste is insane. I've never I've never been able to taste a dab as much as I was just able to taste that. It's crazy. I didn't even realize the top's a carb too. Bro, do y'all see this? This is on the lowest temperature. I'm not even gonna touch the other temperatures. Like, there's no reason to even go higher than this. Like, I'm getting fat clouds and stupid flavor. That was insane. Nah, this is definitely like a unique dabbing experience for sure. I can make sure I'm not like tweaking. Yeah, it's green. That's red, that's white. I don't even wanna hit it on white, bro. There's no reason to hit it on peak. All right, so honestly, there's a little bit left. Um, so I'm gonna heat it up to green really quick. And let's just take a dab on green and or like the rest of the dab on green. Cause I wanna see if it like tarnishes the flavor at all. Cause if it like, if it tastes, you know, if it, if it fucks up the flavor, then there's no reason I'll ever use another setting besides blue. Because blue is hella flavor and hella clouds. Okay, green's pretty chill. Green's pretty chill. You get a little bit more vapor and like a little bit less flavor, but it's not harsh or anything by any means. I'm definitely not fucking with red or white though. Absolutely not. And y'all cleaning this, super simple process. Get your Q-tip, just like any other fucking device or banger or anything really. Anything that you dab with. All right, turn it back to blue. I think we're gonna take one more dab of some um, Percy batter and I think we're gonna call it a day. So let me go grab the 710. All right, y'all, for our last dab, we are going to smoke some Waffle House number seven. This is across from Peach Rings, and I believe it's pronounced pho, pho fauna. Like it's F-A-U-X, y'all probably can't read that, but it's F-A-U-X, I think that's pho, or pho or some shit, that's how you pronounce that, but then fauna, I don't know what the fuck that is. That's the cross on the uh, Waffle House. And I mean, y'all, just, just take a fucking look at this shit, bro. And this shit's also fresh out of the fridge, so it doesn't look like as wet and as like fucking just juicy, but like, Bro, this shit right here is some fucking butter. Like, oh, bro, Jesus Christ. Like, it's it's Percy batter is what it actually is. But I mean, bro, it is some of the like, just, it's such like a good stink. I love this fucking smell. It, it honestly does kind of smell like pancakes and fucking syrup, bro. Like it's weird. So we're gonna take a nice, nice healthy fucking dab of this into the prox. That's like, that's straight. I'm not gonna die from that, you know? But let's fucking go ahead and let's load up the proxy one more time. Um, this is the uh, fucking Waffle House shit. So let's load up the proxy with some Waffle House, you feel me? Nice and smooth, hot knife always does the job. All right, so, uh, so let's go ahead. Let's fucking double tap away. 
And now she's heating up. Yo, I'm definitely gonna have to get like another attachment or like a, a bubbler attachment just to try them out. Cause like, yes, this is fire. Don't get me wrong, like this is fire. I fuck with this. But um, I just wanna try it on other shit. And I've seen, bro, I saw some crazy different glass attachments that people have made and shit for it. So definitely like one of the reasons I wanted to get the proxy it's ready but one of the reasons i wanted to get the proxy is just you can put it to so many different pieces and shit like it's just cool but cheers everybody bro that's crazy i guess swear to god it tastes like a pancake with syrup like it's it's stupid like i don't know the proxy flavor hits different but like if you're a connoisseur of just like you know just cannabis in general you don't even have to be like a super big on dabs you can take like just find some good rosin some good hash dab it out of this shit you will enjoy the fuck out of that let's heat this shit back up oh it's actually insane now this is this is like a this is damn near like a like one of the best products I think um, I've used for cannabis. I'm gonna put it on green real quick. We'll just finish her off. But yeah, man, I, I can give a quick review while it's heating up. Um, pack the fucking box and everything. The 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 carrying case that it comes with now, insane, bro. I give that shit alone like that. That's a ten. That like that get, makes it just like on like another level type shit. We'll get into the rest. shit's crazy bro but yeah i mean flavor on this is like a 10 out of 10 portability is like damn near a 10 out of 10 now the only thing i can really like knock it for is it doesn't like have an app and you can't like make custom profiles you can't really change the colors around and like make them your own shit like you can with the peak that's the only thing i would have to knock it with like that was the only bad thing i'd really say about it but i mean other than that yo it's damn near perfect like it really is like it's damn near perfect and i i thought at first this like tether was gonna be like annoying like and it was you know but it's actually like it really this shit really like pops in there you know what i mean like it fits in there well so yeah fire bro so i mean overall if i'm gonna give this an overall rating um on a scale of 10 i'm giving it a a 9 point i gotta give it a 9.5 like <clears throat> the fact that it doesn't have an app and you can't like precisely um like you know make your own settings and your own temperatures with your own colors and the thing is like it would it would be a 10 out of 10 if you if you like if they didn't already have a product that you could do that with the fact that they already have a product you can do that with it's like so they have the technology you know what i mean like they can integrate that this that somehow with the uh, with the proxy so i don't know maybe i'm just complaining but that's the only thing i would really knock the proxy about other than that i mean it's it's a 10 out of 10 like it's it's perfect down there you know what i mean like it's it's perfect it fits in your hand perfect size the flavor's crazy you get fat clouds i'm high as fuck yeah i really don't know what else you'd ask for the carrying case fire you have room to like for rosin and shit to carry with you well, and and your charger you know what i mean you, you everything you need can fit in this little carry case and it's like pretty nice zip it up all that it's fire i'm in no way sponsored by puffco either so this is all just like genuine you know what i mean like i actually fuck with their products like that that heavy you know what i mean so so yeah i mean i think it's gonna be the video if you get a chance definitely cop a proxy um they're on sale right now i don't even know when i'm gonna release this video but they were on sale i should say they were because i don't think i'll i mean maybe i'll get it out before 20 but they were on sale for 420 um i got this one for like two 250 bro so like 50 bucks off which is fire and it's the desert edition which i think is just clean as fuck this like gray and not even gray this like tan fucking sand color i don't know it's fire but yeah i think that's gonna be the video so make sure you check out uh puffco make sure you check out their ig their ig's cool they always are like posting videos and shit like that so they're they're pretty dope um make sure you check out my instagram make sure you check out um my second channel the car channel make sure you like comment subscribe share with a friend, all that good stuff. Y'all already know what it is. Um, a lot of content on the way, so y'all definitely stay tuned. And yeah, maybe we'll get another attachment soon. We're gonna make another practice video. We'll see what's good. But peace, y'all.